No one enjoys having to clean and sort a fridge or freezer in the lab. However, maintaining them so that you can easily find things when you need them is crucial for efficiency. So, to make this unpleasant job easier, here is your guide for keeping your laboratory fridges and freezers organized. Inventory management is your first step to organization, and it extends beyond the fridge. But there are many tools available to help. Thankfully, we live in a digital age and there is plenty of different software available to meet your needs. Are you labeling your stuff in the fridge? Of course you are. But the real question is, how good are you at sticking to it and how often do you actually update your labels? Now, when you're sharing a fridge, it's crucial to establish a specific spot for everything and make sure it's clearly labeled. Most people are pretty good at putting things back where they found them, as long as there's a clearly designated spot for it. That's why it's essential to set up a designated area that can hold multiple working tube racks or freezer boxes for everyone working under you in the lab. And hey, why not label it? Maybe even put some names on it if that will help keep things better organized. On that note, if you're not sure how to label the graded shelves of a fridge or a freezer, try using suitcase tags. Even after the shelves frost over, the tag is hooked in place. If you place labeled lab tape over the vinyl sleeve, your writing will remain visible. That way, you'll never have to second guess what goes where. While I know you're all experts when it comes to lab safety, it's always good to give yourselves a little reminder. It's crucial to make sure not to place products that might react with each other near each other. One of the golden rules of organization is that it's important to group similar items together, keeping like with like. While this may already be implemented in some labs, it's possible for refrigerators or freezers to become disorganized over time, resulting in items being placed haphazardly. Keep your enzymes with your enzymes, your samples near other samples. Whatever categorization system you choose, the bottom line is always keep similar items together. The next tip is to take organizing the fridge or freezer one shelf at a time. You might only have a small designated space in a reserve fridge to hold temperature sensitive products while you organize the freezer. So the trick is to focus on one shelf at a time, which lets you make the best of what little room you have. The beauty of this approach is that it prevents us from feeling overwhelmed. Trust me, organizing can be a grueling task and it's easy to get burnt out. By starting at the top shelf and working our way down, we can take breaks whenever needed without feeling too committed to the process. However, if you're doing this on a defrost day, then I suggest you go ahead and organize before you defrost. As you work from one shelf to the next, inventorying and trashing useless items, keep a cleaning cloth handy to wipe each shelf down. And don't forget to clean the walls and racks as well. Circular containers don't make great use of corners and therefore waste more space than necessary. That isn't to say that you should avoid round containers, but consider squares as much as possible when you're reorganizing your fridge. If you already have circular containers, try stacking them on top of square containers to make the most of your space. Searching for things in the freezer becomes a hassle when you have to take out everything to find something in the back. This can cause temperature fluctuations and affect the quality of your reagents and samples. Instead, consider using clear refrigerator bins so you can see what's inside and pull out what's stored when you need to. If some of your items are too big for these bins, consider using clear rubber main tubs instead. They offer the same benefits of visibility and accessibility. Clear bins are also great for storing coolers and freezer boxes. As for petri dish sleeves, keeping them in a larger clear container makes it easier to take them out and put them back neatly when you need to. Lazy Susans aren't just for cabinets and tables at home. They can also be really useful in laboratory fridges and freezers, allowing you to easily reach things that are stored in the back. And you can find them in several different sizes to suit your needs. We hope you found this information useful and that it helps you when you're organizing your fridge. If you have any other tips that we missed, let us know in the comments.